Pani Hall. Today we start with new lesson, lesson B, our changing earth. Lesson B, our changing earth. First of all, we start with lithosphere plates. Lithosphere plates. What are lithosphere plates? What are lithospheric plates? Lithosphere is broken into number of plates. Lithosphere is broken into lithosphere is broken into number of plates that are known as lithospheric plates. Okay, listen here. Lithospheric plates. Lithosphere is broken into number of plates that is also known as lithospheric plates. Lithosphere is broken into number of plates that is known as lithospheric plates. Earth crust consists of large and small, rigid, irregularly shaped slabs or plates which carry the coordinates and oceanic flow. It is defined as lithospheric plates. Okay, listen, I repeat. Lithosphere is broken into number of plates that are known as lithospheric plates. Earth crust consists of large and small, rigid, irregularly shaped slabs or plates which carry continents and ocean floor. This defined as lithospheric plates. Okay. You will be surprised to know that these plates move around very slowly. You will be surprised to know that these plates move around very slowly. Just a few millimeters each year. Just a few millimeters each year. This is because of the movement of the molten magma inside the earth. This is because of the movement of the molten magma inside the earth. The movement of the, these plates causes changes on the earth's surface. The movement of these plates causes changes on the earth's surface. Okay. Then, earth movements, this type of earth movements. Earth movements can be defined into two. Earth movements can be defined into two, endogenic and exogenic. Earth movements can be defined into two, endogenic and exogenic here. Earth movements can be defined into endogenic forces, endogenic forces and exogenic forces. Earth movements can be divided on the basis of the forces. Earth movements can be divided on the, on the basis of the forces. So we can divide as endogenic forces, exogenic forces. Endogenic forces. Endogenic forces. Endogenic forces act in the interior of earth. Endogenic forces act in the interior of earth. Then, exogenic forces is what's on the surface of earth. Endogenic forces act in the interior of earth. Exogenic forces what's on the surface of earth. You get it? The endogenic forces are divided into Sudden movements, sudden forces and diastrophic forces. Sudden forces and diastrophic forces. Listen here. Endogenic forces can be classified into sudden forces and diastrophic forces. Diastrophic forces are also known as slow movements, slow forces. Okay. Diastrophic forces are also known as slow. Then, sudden forces are earthquake, volcano. Landslides, earthquake, volcano, and landslides. Then diastrophic forces or slow movements are building mountains. Building mountains. Exogenic forces are erosional and depositional movements. Exogenic forces are erosional and depositional movements that occur on river, beach, sea waves and glaciers. Exogenic forces are erosional and depositional movements that occur on river, wind, sea waves and glaciers. Forces produces sometimes sudden movements at, at the other time the slow movements. And the sudden movements are sudden forces are, are, are the earthquakes, uh, volcano, 
and landslides etc first of all uh, we discuss with the volcano volcano is a vent of on the earth crust volcano is a vent on the earth crust so the molten material erupts suddenly okay here this is the picture of the volcano volcano is a vent vent what vent meaning vent means opening vent means opening then volcano is a vent it's an opening phase or opening uh, hole on the earth crust here you can see the volcano this is the crust this is the mantle area this is magma chamber this is magma magma then from when here flowing the lava the lava flowing the this is when to up this opening phase is scatter is gases and ashes you get it about volcano to this picture origin of earthquake origin of earthquake similarly when the lithospheric plates move the surface of the earth vibrates similarly when the lithospheric plates move the surface of the earth vibrates listen here similarly the when the lithospheric plates moves the surface of the earth vibrates the, this vibrations can travel all around the earth this vibrations can travel all around the earth vibrations can travel all around the earth these vibrations are called earthquake these vibrations are called earthquake okay i repeat similarly when the lithospheric plates move the surface of the earth vibrate the vibrations can travel all around the earth these vibrations are called earthquake the place in the crest where the movement starts in the crest where the movement starts is called the focus the place in the crest where the movement starts is called focus here the focus okay the place on the surface above the focus the place on the surface above the focus the scar epicenter scar epicenter the place on the surface above the focus is called epicenter vibrations can travel outwards from the epicenter as well these vibrations travel outwards from the epicenter these vibrations can travel from the epicenter as waves greatest damage is usually closest to the epicenter greatest damage is usually closest to the epicenter okay and the strength of the earthquake decrease away from the epicenter you get it the greatest damage is usually closest to the epicenter and the uh, strength of the earthquake will be decreases away from the epicenter there are three types of earthquake waves there are three main types of earthquake waves p waves s waves and l waves p waves s waves and l waves p waves are longitudinal waves p waves are longitudinal waves s waves are transverse waves s waves are transverse waves l waves are surface waves l waves are surface waves an earthquake is measured with a machine called seismograph seismograph is a machine used to measure the earthquake do you get it listen here seismograph is a machine that used to measure the earthquake but the magnitude of the earthquake will measure on the richter scale the magnitude of the earthquake is measured on the richter scale so richter scale and seismograph is also used to measure the earthquake then an earthquake of 2.0 or less less can be felt only little 
anna to kick off 2.0 or less can be felt on LET. Anna to kick off 2.0 or less felt on LET. But in our 5.0 that will damage from falling things. That will damage from things falling. Even an attitude of 6.0 or higher, even an attitude of 6.0 or higher that will uh, that may be measured on the seismograph will, will be very strong attitude. When it is 7.0, 7.0, it classified as major. It classified as major earthquake. Preparedness. Where to take shelter during an earthquake? Safe spots are under a kitchen counter, table or desk against an inside corner or wall. Safe spots are under a kitchen counter, table or desk against an inside corner or wall. Stay away from fireplaces, areas around chimneys, windows that shatter including mirrors and picture frames. Stay away from fireplaces, areas around chimneys, windows that shatter including mirrors and picture frames. Be prepared. Spread awareness amongst your friends and family members and face any disaster confidently. Bye.